Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new Football Manager video for your eyes only and whoever else is watching. Well, that's not, a, that's not a correct statement. Episode 22 though, and we, well, we have got a job to do. Today, two games of huge, huge importance. The Carabao Cup fourth round tie. We could make the fifth round, which is amazing. We'll continue with this cup tie, uh, this cup, this cup uh, uh, run, I guess is the correct word, words. It's probably been the only good thing so far about the league season, about the season, definitely not the league season. Oh boy, that's been bad. Since that 4-1 loss to Shrewsbury then, we won in the Leeson.com trophy against Bradford, but then lost in the league to MK Dons, another league defeat. It's a problem. Uh, Brentford, we managed to beat in the league, which is brilliant. Eddie Brown getting his first goal of the season. Very, very good. But then two games with no goals. A 0-0 draw against Tranmere, disappointing. And a 3-0 loss to Plymouth is infuriating. Infuriating, really is. I got mad last episode. I can see something else happening similarly today. The, the goalkeeper in this one, by the way, Magnus Norman, got a 6.8 apparently, but he made two big, big mistakes. So he needs to put things right. We've got Brentford, first of all, in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Now, the fourth round looks like this. Not a lot of teams left in it. Like, seriously, we are just two games away from a semi-final. That's mad. Whether we can get there, I don't know, but we'll have to find out. We've got a decent first draw, the two League One teams together, and then we'll see where we come out. But maybe the Carabao Cup could be brilliant for us. And this is how we're going to line up for this one then. Magnus Norman keeps his place in goal. He is the best goalkeeper, but he needs to really stop the, the errors at the back. That's what he's had over the last few games, and that needs to stop. Noel Mason plays at the right back. Akinola and Tom Clayton play. Um, Akinola and Taylor now do not have a good partnership. Last episode, they had a good one. Now it's the jagged lines. So Tom Clayton's got to play. Uh, Miles Kenlock plays on the left wing back position. Uh, Nia Kirby will play deep line playmaker. Of course, Shan Zambarek is on loan from Brentford, so he can't play in this one. That's a shame. But the fact that he's on loan from a club at the same level as us gives me a real hope that we could sign him next year. Maybe, maybe not, but real hope that we could sign him at the end of his contract. Kirby then is joined by Magoma in the middle, who's been a mainstay in that middle so far this year. Dennis Politic on the right. Ronan Darcy plays behind the striker. Um, if I'm honest, Dylan Lever had a bad game last game. I need to change it over after a 3-0 loss. Ginnelly on the left will play the inverted winger position, trying something different. And up front, Eddie Brown back ready and raring to go. The injuries sort of affected him a little bit, but hopefully he can get back with it. Got a goal um, a couple of games ago, a goal against Brentford would be perfect. On the bench, we do have Elliot Watt, Callum Gribben. Uh, we'd, we've got Marvin Jones if needed and Dylan Levitt too. So it'd be really, really good if we could if we could get a win here. No place on the bench for Connor Hall despite scoring a hat-trick in that leasing.com trophy. He is definitely third choice, but well done you, mate. Well done. Annoyingly, a lot of other League One fixtures are happening at the same time that we're playing. So we're going to lose ground on some people already we were already because of the cup run need well three games in hand on charlton two on above us yes we're sat in 20th by god it's not good it is not good 11 points from 11 games i've had a team meeting and everything things need to change we managed to beat top of the table mk dons by the way uh no we no we didn't we lost 2-1 that I need to stop lying. So far this season it's been a real real struggle i'm not sure why um but it has been a struggle. There's, of course, still a long way to go or still. But we're getting to that point where it's like, right, we really need to start kicking in now. Um, we haven't played many games since the last episode, luckily. But we really needed to start kicking in. Um, show the cr critics what we're made of. That's a good team talk. So that's pretty good. The cup really doesn't mean anything at the moment. We're never going to win the Carabao Cup, surely. Surely not. I mean, you never know. But... The league at the moment. Oh, we're in the blue here. We did beat them a few games ago, but we were at home that one. I'm not sure it's going to make a difference. Another individual mistake there as Noel Mason loses the ball. Uh, Robertson wide for Janvier. And Mbremos gets got away from Kenlock way too easily. It's going to be a goal. This is the problem. This is what we're dealing with. Individual mistake at right back. Individual mistake at left back. And all of a sudden, we are all over the place. And I'm not going to talk about the fact that uh, the goal scorer is completely on mark. Like Akinola, where does he go? Good block. And then what is that about? What is that? I really feel like this season, as what it was meant to be, was a title winning season in my mind. It's a struggle so far, and I think it will be a struggle again. At this point, I'm just going to say it. If we can get playoffs, I will be happy. And I'm saying that really early on, but even that feels like a lifetime away. And I'm really, really sad about it because we bought in 12 players 
we we did our we did our change up in theory paris magoma thank you very much mate jesus paris magoma seems to like those little edge of the box thunderbolt strikes dennis politic does well but there's always the pullback available to number 15 paris magoma it's a super finish by the way whoa but yeah we brought in 12 players um in the summer and i get that they need time to bed in but this is still in theory the team that did so well last year we brought in players to back them up and i don't know i don't know things just haven't settled at all mason that's better from noel mason magoma will pick it up i'm worried where this is going now for noel, Mago uh, noel magoma paris magoma uh, i think their players down injured by the looks of it hall there's a good group there hall we'll go with hall we're playing on so we are brutal we are absolute savages right now kirby wide for mason eddie brown's waiting in the box if you can find a cross can noel mason find a cross it's just nicked away and ginley might be able to keep it alive ginley wide for kenlock paris magoma again Ooh, well, 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 well. Their player has suffered a real knock. It looked like pulled knee ligaments, I think it said, but he's playing on. Half time, 1 1. We've recovered actually quite well. Or maybe they just love the cup. Dennis Politic's still going. He's had a good game so far, Politic. He's pulled it back for Ronan Darcy. Paris Montgomery on the edge of the box again. He's hit the bar. Oh, he loves the long range strike. We come again, though. Eddie Brown. Haven't saw a lot of him since his return, Eddie Brown. He looks a little bit not quite match fitness. We are trying to build it up, but that's a good ball wide from Magoma. He's been brilliant so far. Wide for Kenlock. Can he find a cross? Good ball in from Kenlock. Oh, and Dennis Politic. We're getting good chances here. It's going to be Kirby to whip in the free kick. It's a good free kick. It's headed away, though. And all of a sudden, we look a little bit lacking at the back. De Silva. Adams. Hmm. Can we nick it, maybe? De Silva again. I mean, they haven't broke very quickly, which meant we could get men back. We've got to, to sort of nine men behind the ball at the moment, or we did. They're flying forward. Adams has gone all the way through, and Norman makes a good save. I'm just going to demand a little bit more. I feel like if we can nick a goal, there's a winner available. We'll see what that happens with this highlight, then possibly look at personnel changes. Back Sorensen whips it in. It's gone, it's gone all the way in. What's Clayton done? Clayton missed his header individual mistakes again every goal we concede lately is an individual mistake it's not that brentford have split us open with a stunning goal like, like ours was a really good goal clayton misses his header and with that our, our cup campaign could be over we're gonna to have to make changes josh ginley's not playing very well we'll get callum gribbon on change him to a winger on attack which he does tend to like um, and then maybe Dylan Levitt for Ronan Darcy, who's not played well. We'll get the old guard back on, see if they can get something. Marvin Jones is waiting as well. Eddie Brown not playing well at the moment. Tom Clayton's on a 6.2 after that mistake. Oh, lovely. We will get Marvin Jones on. Hopefully he can save this for us. I mean, we're on positive. I'm, I'm going to go attacking for the last 10 minutes. I'm not sure it's going to make too much of a difference. We've had chances to win this game, to be fair. We've had the chances to win this game. We've hit the bar. We've gone close with a good header. A defensive mistake again is going to cost us a cup fifth round place by the looks of it. Unless something dramatic happens. It's not happening. That's annoying. That is very annoying. So the best thing in our season so far is over again. So that's good. Can we get the league wins we need now? If we look at the schedule, apart from that Leeson.com trophy, which I am going to try and win, these games here are massive for us. There's so many wins we could get, we need to get, so that once we get to November, we are closer to those playoff positions. It's it's vital for the season, it really is. Okay then, Gillingham coming up then, and, and there's not been a lot of time between the games, but a good rest period has helped them. We're going to make a tiny few tweaks to, 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 to maybe give us the control in the game. So it is Norman in goal, Mason Akinola, we're going to play Reese Williams. Give him a chance at centre back after the the horrificness of of uh, what's his name? I forgot his name again. Tom Clayton, horrific last time out. So we're going to give Reese Williams a chance. Mars Kenlock on the left. <sighs> full backs, full backs, full backs. Last year they were brilliant for us. This year not so much it seems. Zambarek and Magoma in the middle, of course. Politic, Levert, Gribben, and Eddie Brown. So come on, boys, come on. For the season, I'd have said Gillingham at home, win, comfortable win. <sighs> Who knows now, but I'm hoping that, that will happen. Last time out against Brentford, then I don't I don't think we played that badly, but uh, we we managed to lose the game thanks to mistakes. So hopefully we can put that right now. Dylan Lever is deep though. He, that's a lot deeper than he's wanting to have the ball. Williams getting some time on the ball there, which is good. This is good football actually, really good. One touch passing from them three there, brilliant. Miles Kenlock coming forward. 
Um, he's got people in the box if you can find him. He's come inside to Zambarek. It needs a good switch, really. Zambarek inside to Levitt, though. Dylan Levitt to Callum Gribben. Bit of space for Callum Gribben to rifle it against the crossbar. As it stands, because of the games in hand, we are in the bottom three. So that's a problem that needs to be put right today. We are better than that. A lot better than that. And I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like, if I was the board, I would be questioning a lot. Right, highlights. Uh, Dylan Levitt into Zambarek. It's very congested on that left-hand side. Hopefully we don't lose it. Like, ooh, that was... I think that was a Zambarek pass. So that was very, very dangerous. He's back on the ball again. Lovely ball wide for Miles Kenlock. Much better. Can he find a cross? No, it's... it's it's what we call in this business a dreadful cross. A dreadful cross. We've won it back, though. Dennis Politic, who had a good game last time out. It's a lovely ball in. Callum Gribben. Yes. Yes. It's his fourth goal of the season, which doesn't sound like a lot, but actually, he's quite high on our scoring list. We're not scoring the goals we did last year as well. Callum Gribben putting us in front, though. And Gillingham are near us in the league table, so this could be a huge, huge result in the form at the moment. Good header. Good header. Okay, Gillingham have got a free kick in here. They've whipped it in. Oh, what a miss that is. That should have been 1-1. And from set pieces, we don't look we don't look really defensively sound. From a set piece of our own, though, Gribben whips it in. I thought it might have been a penalty. It is a penalty. It is a penalty. And now Eddie Brown with a chance to grab his second of the season. Eddie, the entertainer. So good for us last year. Oh, he's back, boys. He is back. Eddie Brown, get in. Maybe we'll freshen up a little bit. Eddie Brown is not fully match fit to see out a game yet, so Marvin Jones will get some more game time. At this point, you want to look at possibly protecting some players, getting some game time. You're turning up, you're comfortable. We'll get Elliot Watt on for Paris Magoma, get him some minutes. Um, but this is looking really, really good. Finally, finally, this is the performance you expect to see. Whether we can continue it, I don't know. Gribbon's free kick in. Three will be perfect. And is that Reese Williams? I'm a genius. Yes, I may have brought him in for defensive heading ability. But going forward, that's what you like to see. And again, a Callum Gribbon free kick. It's, it's vital for us that he swings those in perfectly like he has been. And at home, we get a win. That's the good, good, good thing. Another highlight, it seems... Um, Elliot Watt and Al Mason don't lose it. That's the bit that worries me. We tend to lose the ball there. Now we've got Zambarek on it. Hopefully that won't happen. Williams with a testing ball wide. I like the idea, but it wasn't quite up to scratch. I'm not actually that upset about it. It's got, probably going to lead to a goal, though. Graham coming forward. Graham inside. Graham inside too. Wharton, it's a hell of a strike. And this is what I'm talking about when I was saying that every goal we can see is an individual mistake. That's not. It's a pass that didn't come off, and that's fine, but it was a good idea, right idea. And it's a heck of a strike from the edge of the block box. We've blocked one, and he's thumped it in on the volley. No complaints about that. Right, corner. We could extend our three-goal advantage. Not a good corner from Gribben this time, but we'll keep it alive. We won't keep it alive. We're going to make this dramatic, aren't we? Boys, it was so comfortable. It was so, so comfortable. I didn't want to change anything really. And then I made I made the two changes. I probably shouldn't have made the two changes. It's kind of ruined the get the flow for us. Graham on the right. Good block by Miles Kenlock. And actually, maybe we could break. Zambarek. Oh, perfect pass from Jan Zambarek again. Politic looking over the top. It'll fall for Callum Gribben. He hasn't scored. Another highlight in the final five minutes. Trying to make it interesting, Gillingham. But we look like we could come forward. Dylan Levitt over the top. Marvin Jones. He's gone a few without a goal. He's put it wide again. But this has been, I, I say it again, it's been a really, really good performance. If you look at the stats, we've been totally dominant. This is this is what you want to see. This is much better from everyone involved. Much, much better. A confidence-building victory, that. Now, hopefully, we can take that into our run of form now, um, or run of games. We've got some huge, huge games coming up. But what I would say in terms of the teams we've played, that we've played the top four already. We lost them all, admittedly, but we've played them already, so that's... That's good. Bradford we've played. We hopefully have got teams in this sort of area now. We can get some really good victories. We're out of the bottom four. It's a bottom four. Oh, okay. Well, it's a bottom four, but we're out of it by a point. We've got three games in hand over the teams around us. If we can, for example, if we can win all three games in hand, so that'll be nine points, that'll be 23. We're suddenly up here, and that's where we need to get to. So hopefully, hopefully we can get the job done. So then that's the end of your bank holiday episode. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the end of it. The cup defeat is, is gutting, but it was never the idea. 
It's about it's about the league season. It was originally about promotion. Let's see what happens. If we can go on a good run, the playoffs. A lot of say it's still a long way to go. We're only in September. We're going to play on a little bit, I think. If we have a look at the fixtures now, and we'll get through. It actually doesn't look that bad when you look at it. There's, there's more red than you'd like, and that's the problem. But there's still a fair few greens in the cup competition, not necessarily the league. Um, so I'm going to play through to probably maybe Rochdale and Rotherham, the final one of October. I'm going to play through all of these and come back with you with those two big games on Friday. So, uh, yeah, let's see how we go on, shall we? It should be a good one. If you like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for all the latest content, including Wednesday. That's rude. Stop being rude. Wednesday's huge, huge arrival on the channel. Total Extreme Wrestling 2020 is here. The first week, Raw, SmackDown, um, NXT, and NXT UK. I'm going to spoil a tiny bit for you here. I've filmed this already. It's still to be edited, but I've filmed this. And boy, 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 is it is it different from 2007 Saved by a Long Way. So, uh, yeah, make sure you tune in for that one. And tune in on Friday at 4.30 for the, for the next one of this. This is going to be huge. Until next time, peace.